boss, I took your bitch, took that whole to town. Play my role so good after I hit, I took a ball. Take some pop. Yo, hello, it's Reva here. And in today's video, I will be showing you guys how to make the ghost effect you guys saw in the beginning. And if you guys want to support me in any way, I have a website where you can buy uh, editing packs. So if you guys want to support me, uh, that is a great way to do that. But yeah, let's get right into this. So the first thing we're going to do here is, I mean, of course, find a clip you want to use. I'm using this Sofago clip from this uh, Hell Yeah music video. And uh, the first thing we are going to do here is rotor brush out our character or person. Or, and if you don't know how to rotor brush, I have made a tutorial on that, which will be linked in the description. But yeah, you start off by rotor brushing. So when you're done with the rotor brushing, we are going to pre comp this. So you can pre comp, right click, pre comp, name this Sofago or something. <laughs> And uh, here we're going to go back in to the, our pre-comp and we are going to copy this uh, layer here. So you press Ctrl C, go back to the composition. And here we're going to paste uh, this layer again. So Ctrl V. And now we're going to delete the rotor brush effect here so we can get the background back. So now it looks something like this. And now we're going to start off by adding the effects to make this uh, ghost effect and the first effect we're going to add which is the most important one uh, it's called temporal blur uh, bcc temporal blur so we're going to add that so now we get something like this here already looks pretty cool and i'm actually just going to use the default settings here because i thought the, those settings looked the best then we're going to add a effect called deep glow and here we're going to increase the exposure here to 1.38 and the radius to 200 289 and we're going to put the threshold to zero so we get more brightness and then we're also going to press on molt here that looks amazing but i like to add some um some color to this so we're going to add a effect called four color gradient here and uh, I'm going to have a bright blue here, boom, and then, yeah, this pink or purple here. Change the blending mode then to color. So now it looks something like this. Pretty, pretty cool. And we're going to keyframe these colors here. So you press the clock here, there, 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 and there. And we're going to go to the end of our composition here. And then we're going to switch these uh, colors here. So it becomes more blue here and more uh, purple, pink here. Uh, so you're going to copy this code here. Uh, press Ctrl C. Okay. And then you're going to copy the pink colors uh, to these blue ones here. So something like that. And then you use your code you copied. Ctrl V. Boom. So you get this back. So now it's the colors is changing. Looks pretty, pretty cool. And to make the uh, brightness shine a little bit more, we're going to add an effect called Raise. And the settings we're going to use here is, and the Raise uh, length is going to be one, uh, 1. And the brightness here is going to be 0 0.5. So you can see guys here, you get a little bit of shine here. And yeah, now you guys can select all of the effects here and then go to animation, save animation preset and then name it to ghost effect boom so now you guys can use this effect later on uh, if you guys want so that is a pretty pretty good trick there and yeah uh, now for some finishing touches what i like to do is to add a adjustment layer Control alt y drag this between the layers and here we're going to add an effect called vignette and the settings i'm going to be using here is 131 on the amount and the Angle view is going to be 42.9. This looks pretty cool. And uh, after that, I'm going to add a new adjust adjustment layer. And then here, I'm going to add sharpen. And I'm going to increase the amount to 50. And uh, another adjustment layer. Add noise, noise type, use color noise, uncheck that one. And uh, go with 6% on the noise. And then one last adjustment, adjustment layer, boom. And here we're going to add transform just to get rid of these uh, light uh, edges here. So you're just going to zoom in 
Cool. So yeah, that's how you made the ghost effect. And uh, if you guys enjoyed this tutorial, uh, please consider liking and subscribing. And if you guys want to support me, as I said in the beginning, I have a website. Uh, feel free to check that out. Uh, and yeah, uh, I will see you guys soon. Take care and have a nice day.